Alright guys, so I'm doing post-commentary narration here. My video and my audio were not in sync, and so my audio actually didn't even appear. So I'm just doing this post-commentary. I'll do my best, so I apologize if I'm not doing it perfectly. Okay, so I have some copper ore in the macerator there, and I'm going to add some coal so that I can actually uh, smelt some of that, or macerate it. And so as you can see, I have a lot of gems and just different items that I actually mined. So iron and gold. I also have uh, rubies, things like redstone, and I'm pointing out the different types of iron and tin, copper, things like that. So I've collected a, while, a lot of items off camera, you know, well, I did not film that. And in this chest, I also have a lot of other items. Uh, bones, cobblestone from all the mining. I would say in tech it, never throw everything away. Number one rule. Never throw anything away. And we will come back to that later. So in this video, I really wanted to show you guys how to make an extractor because that is the third machine you should make. And that's the recipe right there. Four tree taps, one electronic circuit, and one machine block. And so those are the first three machines. Generator, then make a macerator, um, then you should make an extractor. Generator, macerator, extractor. Yep, that, in that order. So I basically need uh, some refined iron, so that's what I'm making right now in the furnace. And so basically when you place regular iron in there, it makes refined iron. I need some redstone, as you can see. I grab three pieces. I need some copper cables. And so I don't have any rubber, so I'm going to make some sticky resin. And that's what I'm doing here. So I just put it in the furnace. And you see how not efficient this is? You put one sticky resin in there, and you get one rubber. In the extractor, you actually get one sticky resin, and out comes three rubber. So it triples your actual um, load there so be sure and get the extractor ASAP because copper cables are super important and so I go outside to get a little bit of wood <coughs> because uh, later on I will expand uh, my house a little bit I actually do that in the next video that will be coming up Yeah, so I have some rubber there. The generator's generating. And now I have some dust, some copper dust. It's funny, my house is still, like, I haven't fixed it yet. In the next video, I aim to make it good a little better. I think I expand it in the next. So I'm making copper cables here, and this is essential to really making any type of machine. So that's why you need rubber, because you need lots of rubber in this. You basically need six rubber to make six cables, so it's a big amount. So I use the uh, cables there. I place that there, and I make an electronic circuit. That's the recipe for the electronic circuit, or the electric circuit. I don't know which one it was. And then um, I'm making few planks. Oh, I'm making a tree tap because you need four tree taps. And so those are really important and they don't stack. So that's not fun. So that's why I stack them like that. All right. And so I have those. And what's great about the electric tree tap is that you can get rubber and basically your machine never degrades at all. It just loses power. And so you just recharge it but you never have to worry about it like you know just making a new one once you make one you're done and so looking up the recipe there electronic circuit a battery and a tree tap why did I make four? Oh, for the extractor okay and so more cables as you can see you make a lot of cables in tech it a lot of cables Alright, 
and then I need to get a little more supplies here. I need some redstone, so I just bring it all together. And I believe, because I'm actually making two recipes here, I'm kind of doing two things in one. I'm trying to make the extractor, but I'm also making the tree tap kind of at the same time. So I basically need two circuits. So I have the two. And I'm going to need a battery right now. So that's the next thing that I'm going to be making. And uh, I, f I had forgotten the recipe for the battery. So I'm looking it up basically here. And the recipe for the battery is 4 tin, 2 redstone, 1 cable. So I noticed that I need tin. And again, what, I, what you'll see me do is actually put the tin in the furnace. That's just because I didn't want to wait in the macerator. The macerator takes a long time. But you should do that kind of in your time, like in your free time or when you're out mining or something. Just put all your ores in the macerator and then you should be good, you know, to let them smelt uh, nice and efficiently. And so, let's see, I'm looking at the circuits here. And I'm basically uh, looking at the tree taps. I'm basically showing that, you know, the recipe for the tree taps are five blocks of wood. And there's uh, different recipes that you can have for different things. And so, I have uh, the tin that I need. I believe I need two more. So, because I was so used to the macerator giving double, so that's why I only brought two. And so as it's smelting, I'm going to look up uh, the extractor. I think it's the extractor recipe again. But I remember that it was a machine block that I needed. But I show everyone that you can hit that question mark right there. And you actually get like a ghost image of your recipe, which is awesome. And so you'll never forget. Then when you make it, it disappears basically when you exit out and that's it I actually right there have my extractor and so I actually put it above the generator which is good you don't even need a wire um, but I mean some people like not to put it close they like to put it farther away and so you can do that too but the charge you see is charging up so now you gotta feed coal into here this is good to start up. A generator is really good to start up. Some people even make a generator for each machine, and that's good too. But there's a point where you use so much coal that it's just not efficient anymore. You need other types of energy. Anyway, we'll get to that later. The extractor, you see, takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it. Look, it's 11. It's going to go down to 10, and you're going to get 3 rubber. It is amazing. For basically 1. So right there... I'm getting 33 rubber from that stack right there instead of 11. Like, that's a big difference. Three times the amount. And as you can see, there's tons of rubber, right? Like, tons of rubber that's needed. And so I see it's getting dark. Let's see, I need a few more things. I need more copper, again, because I'm definitely going to make more cables. You spend your life making cables in TechIt. I would say just make thousands of cables <laughs> to start with so you never have to keep making them. I should just do that. So I had forgotten the tree tap recipe. Oh no, the battery, yeah, sorry. I needed to make the battery first. And that's, so I press that and so I don't forget, see? That's the uh, TechIt recipe for dummies, basically. Press that question mark. You get the battery. By the way, you can charge the batteries in the generator if you need to. Like if you need to charge something up or charge the battery up, you just stick it in the generator and the charge that's there will go to the battery. So that can be helpful for times to carry your electricity with you. So I did need one tree tap. There we go. Because you can't use that tree tap that's in the middle that's used up. You can't use that because it's used and that's it. Now I'm charging the tree tap in the generator. <clears throat> and you need to take it out and now allow it to load the energy into the generator. Once it's loaded, now you can actually put the tree tap back in and keep charging it, right? 
Ooh, someone's making barbecue. I can smell that. Put the redstone back. I don't need it. Iron back. I don't need it. Rearrange everything. I love that reset button. Take the rubber back and sleep because it's too dark. I want to actually go out and get some rubber and show you guys how it works. So I'm basically charging up. I put the uh, tree tap back in there. It fully charges. Now I can go outside and hunt for rubber. Remember, rubber is essential, so you need a lot of trees. I would say cut a few down, plant the saplings. You know, you need rubber. And you need to look for the little light brown dot on the side. And that means rubber's there. And right there. And I think it's kind of random. You can get one, two, and I don't think you can get three from one dot. Well, I think that was three, wasn't it? Was it two? So yeah, anywhere between one and three I think you can get. So it's kind of a shot in the dark. It just depends. Five, six, I got one there. So you see I have lots of rubber trees. That's three right there, so six to nine. So yeah, you can get anywhere from one to three. Which is awesome, because if you get those three and you smelt it, that's nine, right, in the extractor. So... I mean, right there with this stack of 10 that I have, I can make 30 rubber little balls. Oh, 39. I mean, it's really amazing how these machines, you know, just make your yield so much, which is part of the fun in this game, you know, that you can work a little harder and be more efficient and do more stuff, and it's like a non-stop race to do better each time. All right, and so I put everything back in the extractor, and uh, I mean, it gets to the point, guys, where we're real low on coal, and we got to start thinking of other forms of energy, and that will be coming really soon, because coal will only do it so much, we'll have to be digging the entire day, or putting huge amounts of wood into our generator, you know, and like, that's not that efficient, you know. I guess lava would help, but at this point I haven't encountered... Well, there's some lava downstairs. But the best thing to do, trust me, is get alternate forms of energy. We're good now, but we're going to get to the point where we're going to have to move on to wind. So I'm getting a little more rubber, of course, because it's needed. Right before I finish the video, we're coming to the end right now. and uh, putting the stuff back. But eat before, because if you're hungry, you gotta eat. And that is pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about the extractor, you learned something about the tree tap,